Hello Virgos. This is your reading for the 14th through the 28th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Hope you guys are doing well. We're going to go ahead with this Celtic Cross today, guys. If you guys are new, please uh, hit the like button, share the video, and um, subscribe. And welcome to my channel. Let's see what we've got for Virgos. Let's see. Virgo. Please show me messages for Virgo for the 14th through the 28th. What's surrounding you? What's challenging you? Ooh, underlying issue. The past. Best possible outcome is there. What's coming in for you guys? How you're seeing this situation. Outside influence. Your hopes. Your fears. And the overall. Alright guys. So the energy that's around you right now is a four of swords. Um, some of you are, you know, just probably have experienced a breakup or just very tired in general and just trying to regroup and see where you go from here. Okay, taking some time out to kind of, you know, get yourself together so you can map your steps wisely and move on from here. Get up and um, keep going in a positive direction. Okay, so it's challenging you. It's a two of pentacles. This is exactly that, getting balanced, um, knowing exactly what it is that you want to do and what you need to do, uh, spending your time wisely here, okay? So right now you're just kind of using, you know, you're thinking about things. You're thinking about what's best for you. You know, what should you do from here, okay? But then there's a need. Your challenge is to, <coughs> excuse me, Actually get up and decide what it is. Devote your time in a particular direction or, you know, directions. Just knowing solidly where you're going, okay? Not to stay stagnant for too long um, in your thoughts is the thing, okay? So the underlying issue here is gaining some balance and harmony in your life. Balancing out your emotions with your actions and, um, you know, just being happy. I feel finding your happiness is what I'm getting from you guys. Now, how you're viewing this situation is a four of cups, okay? Um, I think that you guys are at the point where you just want stability, okay? You don't want your, your thoughts to get out of control. You don't want your emotions to get out of control for someone. And right now, you're just like either somebody has taken your love for granted or you're just at the point where you're not interested in love right now. Okay, because there's some healing that you're still um, going through, I feel, okay? Now, what was going on in the recent past is exactly that. There's a breakup here, okay? You guys experienced some disappointment in love. Um, maybe you guys could not get along. Whatever that means for you. You may have been involved in a three-party relationship. It does not have to be. But um, nevertheless, you guys have um, experienced some heartache here. And you're just taking some time to regroup from that. Okay? So the best possible outcome here is the nine of wands. You will take a break. Okay? But then, once you take a break and regroup, um, get your thoughts together, then figure out what it is that you really want to do or where you want to go from here, you will get up and keep moving. Okay? Right now, I think you've been through a lot and you're needing a rest. So that's what you're doing. Okay? Um, and then you'll keep, you'll keep going. You'll continue to move, continue to grow, that sort of thing. Now, what's coming in for you guys? is the Ace of Swords, truth and clarity, okay? This is also being victorious, I feel, um, and the fact that, you know, while you're taking some time to rest, I feel that um, you will gain clarity on this situation if that's what you're needing. Your clarity is coming in, um, how you can get up and, and continue to move in a direction that you feel like is is good for you, doing the things that you feel like is good for you. Now, I'm also saying that maybe there's going to be some conflicting situation that arises here, okay, um, where you may have some conflict with the person that actually, you know, broke your heart or that you broke up with. Um, 
maybe you know this person wants to discuss what happened between the two of you and then through that uh, conflict or through that situation I feel like you guys will gain even more clarity okay it, it's probably going to like propel you to move forward once you receive this clarity now that the influence here is a fool okay now either somebody has been um, foolish in this situation here okay and broke your heart or this is just you guys taking a leap of faith to step out of a situation that was causing you heartache okay deciding to step out on faith that there's something better out there for you okay what your hopes are is that you can end this conflict that you will not struggle to to get the things that that you feel like you deserve in your life you don't want to argue anymore you don't want to fight anymore you're not really trying to get somebody to see your point of view okay because in a relationship when you're with someone you should have to struggle all the time to get somebody to see your point of view or what hurts you i think you're just tired of the conflict and you're just wanting to end that your hope is that you can move forward and move on from this come out of come out of you know trying to always argue with somebody to get your point across or you know always be conflicted about you know what it is that you need to do i think your hopes mainly is to be successful to move on successfully okay to not have this conflict in your life you want um i, I feel smooth sailing from here on out Okay, you don't want to fight anymore, argue anymore. Your fear is that you will not find the one. I feel that vibes with you, that's on the same energy field as you, okay? Um, that you will not find your way, okay? That's what the hermit is, that you guys will, you know, be stuck by yourselves forever feeling like you're getting older and um, you know maybe your chances for love or slim something like that okay very Virgo energy right there and then the overall I see you guys being happy I definitely see you being happy here um, having your wishes fulfilled I, I definitely see that okay after you guys have taken this leap of faith, um, stepped out on faith to get what it is that you feel like you deserve in your life. After you've been broken hearted here. Okay, so we have Cancer Energy, Aries, Leo, um, Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra. Um, energy is present here. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys for the 14th or the 28th. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.